Episode 2 of Moon Knight was released today and I gotta say I really really enjoyed this episode. With today's episode the pacing was a lot faster than the first episode and I think the first episode needed to have a slow pacing because it basically built the foundation of the entire TV show. Now in this episode we were finally introduced to Layla and it showed us Mr. Knight in his white suit which I gotta say looked really 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 good. We see Steven more than ever fighting with Mark while Arthur Harrow was incredible, just like he was in his first episode. The scene where Steven is in the car with the two police officers and the female detective looks up Mark Spector, which gives us a look at what he did in Egypt, where he basically executed a bunch of archaeologists, which then leads us to the end of the drive, where they end up in a small area, and this is where... We see Stephen and Mark at war with each other and Stephen being disgusted with what Mark did saying you will never get control again. We see that there is slowly a wedge starting to happen between Stephen and Mark and another great scene was when Stephen and Arthur are talking about Ahmed and Khonshu where Arthur says Khonshu doesn't act until the person has gone down the evil path. There to Ahmed who kills the evil at the root. And Stephen saying something that really threw me off and I was like, oh my god, that wow, I didn't think Stephen had that in him. Was if Amit judges people pre-evil, like before the fact, then isn't she judging an innocent person? And he asks, what about a child? Would you kill a child for something they might do in 30 years? Where Arthur replies, sometimes the cure is a little taste of the disease. Which gets you thinking, can't you will only punish when someone goes down the path compared to when Amit will punish well before they even have a chance to. In this episode we see Stephen trying to fight the jackal that Arthur Harrow summons until he finally gives in and allows Mar control of his body where we see the armor of Khonshu and Mar basically takes the jackal away from the people who are around and finally kills the jackal on a spire. And when we get one final conversation between Mark and Stephen where Mark is fully in control of Stephen's body and won't give it back until he has finished what he started. And we finally see Mark in Egypt looking for the tomb of Ahmed because they do not have the scarab anymore. I was really excited for this TV show because it was the dark side of Marvel and their first two episodes have been really really good. And I gotta say Oscar Isaac's performance in these last two episodes incredible.